Hi, this is Tim. I want to show you uh, an awesome capstone, Mechatronics capstone project. Um, I, a few months ago, I asked Tom, would he be interested in getting the industrial robot working with the low cost trainer? I asked him, it is theoretically possible. Would he mind if you could pick up a cup, empty the contents out into here, and then put the cup back in the magazine? Um, we asked him, would he be able to play around with something called uh, Wonderware, which is a HMI a design tool. This is the result of his project, and it was pretty, it was, it, it's an incredible job. So Tom, would you mind um, hitting, hitting the start, yeah? So it's going to kick the, do you want to describe what it's doing, Tom? Sure, so the, the countdown is 10 seconds or so. Now it's dispensed the cup. <clears throat> When it gets to this next station, the light sensor there determines it's a white cup. And I think that fills for one second. And it'll put it in that tray. So I call tray one. So Tom designed the end effector in SolarWorks? Yep. <clears throat> and um, then we printed it. You're using, the, what? what is the code? To, uh, it's called Rapid, isn't it? Yeah, and that's ABB. ABB's code. Yeah. It's basically C. When I saw this run for the first time, it just it blew my mind how well it how well it works, and it can just cycle that. So just a lovely project on how to use the low cost trainer with an industrial robot. Uh, Wonderware is free free for education. Do you want to give it another blast? You want to go another round? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the robot it's, is it's returning to its going. home position. We'll just keep going. Yeah. If you don't have an industrial robot in your college or school, uh, there is a Dobot. Um, uh, what a, there, any industrial robot. So, how many months were you working on this project? Since, um, Probably September. September. Yep. So September, October, November. So you'd be every once a week you've been coming in here. Well, belting this out on the weekends. Yeah. It was a bit of a learning curve with the robot, just getting the all the information together and then once I once I just saw how to get the files on and all the pen in here, then it was easy. So you're using a teach pendant right there, which is in your hand, right. to, to program the robot. I'm running in the mode here where I have to have my hand on the grip. Oh, I gotcha. Otherwise, it will stop the robot in all axes, which is a good idea at this point. Yeah, it's, it's a phenomenal project. So look, I, thank you for showing that to sure. us. Something you can do with a low cost trainer and then um, Learning Wonderware is just a project in itself, so um, look, appreciate it, Tom. Sure.